I thought I didn't know you were a tea drinker. I thought you didn't like coffee or tea. No, I drink t- I drink tea, man. It's I'm just not feeling well. Is dude. that why? Is that why you're? Yeah, that's what's giving you the farts, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're... dude. I assure you that it's not the fucking tea. <laughs> I assure you why? that it's no. prime pizza's spicy pepperoni <laughs> vodka pizza that oh, we had yesterday. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm no. gonna check that tea bag, and I'm sure it's prime pizza tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's just <laughs> sauce. It's like mozzarella <laughs> yeah. and like pepper flakes in there. Fucking you marinara just, sauce you... in a bag. I guess I... <laughs> God. You look inside the cup. It's, I'm just drinking fettuccine Alfredo Dude. sauce. <laughs> it's the like you know the Parmesan packets they yeah, give you. Yeah. It's just that attached to a piece of string. <laughs> like it's not even. <laughs> hey, as an Italian, that's what my grandfather and used I, to be so and proud. Italian. Yeah, as a proud every time Italian. we get a tummy ache, we just have more fettuccine with shrimp. You know your whole house smells like f- ripping farts all day long. <laughs> I literally Cheesy have no idea goodness. what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like the, the Tropic Thunder trailer with the Jack Black, like the farting family. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Bean. Oh, beans. <laughs> Jeff Portnoy. Jeff Portnoy. Yeah. yeah. In some countries, it's considered a compliment. <laughs> Dude, I ate that shit. <laughs> Andrew, up. your ability to quote a movie, man, man is got so the name of the fictional <laughs> actor. Just because yeah. I've seen it a billion times. I think I was it's... howling, laughing, watching Jeff Portnoy rip ass yeah. in so seven funny. different characters. Mm, more beans, please. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? wait. So you said seven different characters? What are the seven? It's oh fuck! I forget. I it's like I the forget whole the family. Name. No, but it's like, whole like family. you just had to get. It's it a like guess. the biker. The biker. And is, how does he sound? He's like that's the guy who's like in some countries it's yeah. considered a compliment. There's and then there's the and then there's a daughter that he, she gets farted on. She's like, oh gross! He farted on me. Yeah. And then the it's son, all Jack Black. <laughs> it's all oh. Jack Black. And then the grandma's the one that's just like, oh mo beans. <laughs> <laughs> there's like the mom. I like that one. Yeah. The dad. Yeah. 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 Uh, that one fat, oh, fatty, fatty's <laughs> fart too. That was the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really. <laughs> what was the what was the uh, Toby Maguire like? Satan's Alley. Satan's Alley. Satan's Alley, dude. <laughs> yeah. That one killed that me. That one's so good. And yeah. they're like holding the beads, looking at each uh-huh. other. Yeah. The movie just starts right at the top with booty sweat, which is booty great. Booty sweat. Booty sweat. Dude, I thought I thought Ari was freestyling the intro for a second when he started beatboxing. Oh, Ari. I was like, whoa, acapella? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> dun, 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 I was gonna say it's like the THX. Couch to the kids, to the what, the what? It's the couch kids on the couch and they're ready to go. <laughs> Listen to the theme in song. your butt. <laughs> in your butt. That's how it goes, dude. No, that's how you wrote yeah, it. Yeah, you no, made that you song. You wrote that. I spent so much and time on we it. We appreciate how much time you put on it, so that's why you we're able to recite two it. Two different notes ascending at different points. No. I don't think uh, I will let uh, the audience play that back and decide. I, I have I hear no difference between what you wrote, which we love and appreciate. We oh just we're God. just singing it. <laughs> Jeez. There's no Duh. lyrics. Who's the booty sweat the pants and the booty the booty <laughs> The booty sweat. Whose episode is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it you? No. It's cool. Mine? Who's okay, ever I'll after me? Who, all right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. come on! <laughs> oh, damn it! He just gagged. Sorry. He did. Uh, okay, he did I choked. Talk. I choked. Welcome back, Couch Kids listeners. I'm Colton. Ari. Right. Andrew. Wahoo! Mm-hmm. And uh, today we're in for another recording. It's, it's it's pretty gloomy outside. It is. Yeah. The the rainy weather has come in. Last episode we did a night record. Yeah. And we were vibing. We were vibing very we liked hard. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We were electrified. Maybe a little drunk, but. You know, who's to say? Who's to say? And we like listen <laughs> yeah. back to the tape. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, of, and this time Andrew's episodes. drinking fart tea. So <laughs> yeah, maybe he's electrified yeah, right lasagna now. Lasagna fart tea. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's my band name. Yeah. Lasagna fart tea. <laughs> Dude, speaking of band names, we played a sick game oh, last yeah. night that I just wanted to t- mm-hmm. touch on a little bit, which was uh, Telestrations. Telestrations. Telestrations After Dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The sexy and, version. Dude, and Noel, Andrew's girlfriend, fucking makes me laugh so much because of the, like her interpretations and we yeah, got some yeah. sick band names out in a while we got home run pizza home, home run, run pizza, pizza was sick it, it was a drawing of a baseball diamond <laughs> it was a field so the the prompt was yeah. getting to third base so oh, yeah we took a photo of i know it. oh, oh my god so but Next it was time. basically and, and the way the game works it's almost like telephone where you're given a prompt right like getting to third base you pass it to the next person they have to draw what they think it is 
and then they pass to the next person, they write what they think that yes. previous drawing was. So it's yeah. like telephone. It, it was going so strong. It was like third base, and then it was like baseball diamond pointing to Same the third. image. Yeah, Same every time. drawing like five times. It's great. Noel gets the drawing and runs, writes home run pizza <laughs> <laughs> right before it gets back to me. And, and it, was it, it like killed she me. interpreted the like baseball diamond as, as like a pizza? pizza. Like pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so funny. That, that was a good one. And then she also wrote, dude, the bolts and the, the bees. Bolts and the bolts bees. And the bees. Yeah. Oh, was which was a too. drawing was like of two of, cars fucking. I yeah. Think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Telestrations after dark. It's like it, your brain just switches and you're like, I'm going to draw a penis now. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, I mean, we're like, some of us are professional artists. Just some of yeah. the heinous things that came from us. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's my favorite it's was wild. like, it was like, I think Megan did it where it was just a drawing of like someone dancing or I forget. And, yeah. and all of a sudden there was just also a tiny penis yeah. like added yeah. on it. Dude, she, all... she has the ability to like interpret the words and like make it very wholesome. Uh huh. She did one with like a baby in the sun. I, yes. I forgot what that yeah. was. Oh, that it, was You Are My Sunshine or something like that. You Are My Sunshine. Like, yeah. Right? Or no, no, something no, that's like that. That's what somebody that's interpreted. What, uh, oh. That's what Sammy quoted. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like hot baby. Uh, what, what was hot it? Hot babe. Hot babe. Oh, it yeah. was. So yeah. it, it was like big tits and it like going through this like. Well, grotesque. I don't woman know that I like, do that. Colton kept drawing that. It was, That's not true. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. But, all right, all right. And then it was like like big titties, and then it got to like Noel's stick figure with big things. So then I wrote hot babe, and then Megan drew like a baby in the sun, baking in the sun. But then she'll have the ability to like flip it, and it'll be like car work and she'll draw like a car with a dick yeah. <laughs> it'll be like oh my god Be i feel like because it was the after dark version mm, everything i wrote slap, yeah because yeah, it was like slip and slide was one of them naked. and i was just like, well, like slip and slide but it's after dark so someone yeah they're naked but they're naked they're like, <laughs> someone's thinking something <laughs> naughty uh-huh <laughs> but yeah going back to colton's ability to draw some of the most detailed sexual <laughs> drawings i've seen nope. in under a minute I don't know how he he get like backfolds in there and like <laughs> it's almost like he's practiced the bunch. Practiced it, huh. yes, like yeah. almost too well. What was your favorite drawing of his that he that he did? Because I know think. mine. Oh, I no. would say if no. I were to stop, you want to say at the same time? Yeah, one, one two, two, three. three. Uncircumcised yep. penis. Yes, An uncircumcised yeah. penis. Let's not. If you ever wanted to know what a muppet as a penis <laughs> looks like. <laughs> That's what it was. Cool. We don't have any photos either. Yeah, we've no probably photos. for the best. Probably Thank for the bottom. God. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it looked like yeah, it looked like a giant sock, yes. right? Like, like a, sock a puppet. like a skin sock. I don't think but, I'm wrong. But it has a mouth. <laughs> yes. You know what? Not where you think the holes. Not wrong. Would and be. then you drew a pair of scissors with a cross through it next to it. No, no, no. Like no cutting no, here. No cutting here. <laughs> no cutting here. What and you then, see there? Yeah. That's not and clear. Then someone that's, wrote yeah. like. Like no pubes or like yeah, I wrote like yeah I wrote yeah. untrimmed pubes because I was like what the fuck is, is this because he, he handed it to me like so confident like, I know no, he's like, and then Noel drew the most disgusting drawing yeah oh my god uh, I, it like had shading in it I was like <laughs> oh getting she, getting stick figure drawings from Noel the uh -huh. whole game and then getting that yeah. her interpretation of undrawn pubes like threw me back dude, dude i like how she was charging the whole game she's like her meter her like yeah. special meter was charging she and then all of a sudden she was dude. like yeah altered on untrimmed pubes. oh my dude, god it there was one there, jump there was one because yeah noel not a professional artist like it, it was drawing stick figures and there was one where it kept going around it was like shit on me or like yes it, it was poop on my face oh, poop, poop on face. my face, it was face. Poop the, face. the word was poop face poop and face. then people wrote like poop on my face but, but I'm, I'm chill cool with about it, it. Cause cause everybody yeah. everybody just everybody that had shit on their face had the thumbs, thumbs up, up right yeah. and they were like yeah we're cool I'm about fine. that shit on my and face and then it gets yeah. to noel and it's Stick figure shitting on another stick figure, <laughs> but the person, sh but everybody had smiley faces. Yeah. They were shaking something so like detailed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like something a child in like third grade would draw to like be yeah. funny with their friends. <laughs> so it funny. kills me, dude. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, highly thanks for hosting that. That was that was really good. Did that come from a place like? hosting board game night because uh Not is really. it something you've been wanting to do so or noel noel is actually loves games hmm, that's like awesome. loves playing games dude I, yeah she's yeah. such a great vibe not that i don't i just like it's not my like because i didn't grow up with it i don't know if you guys did but we did not do a little bit the only time we would play okay. board games was when we lost power like that was it Whoa. Oh, we never played okay. board games as a family dude, ever my family always played they're like 
after Thanksgiving dinner, board game yeah, time. And that's I'm really, when, that's when God, my family no. busted out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm a little, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm a little jaded to board games because of how much it was like pressured upon me to mm-hmm. play them. But yeah. man, th- I, I think that we're, we talked about like golden ages last time, like about the board games the board being games. in the golden era. I really agree because there are so many creative games now. Like even Noelle yeah. pulled out one that she said oh. she found off TikTok. Hughes like, and Cues, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hughes and Cues uh, was super fun. She had like one called Wavelength. Oh, wait, that was like cool. only yeah. it's only between like two people, but yeah. it, it seemed pretty cool. Yeah, not not to repeat too much of the golden age question, yeah. but it is this like not all these not all board games now are like uber competitive, like yeah. sabotage other people or like trivia mm-hmm. based where like you feel stupid uh-huh. like losing. I agree. It's yeah. like Hughes and Cues, which was like I've never played that. And it's pretty much like a, I put down, I describe what a color is and it's like a huge color board and then everybody else has to like. Guess side where it is, and then whoever's yeah. the closest gets the most points that's pretty much it so simple and it's yeah. like it's it's so like chill and like it is all about like how you communicate it uh-huh. and i also discovered i don't know what color a plum is i discovered that <laughs> last night that was funny. oh yeah. my god uh, yeah and it's like it's all in good fun though yeah like, it's not this like so to set the malicious. scene to set the scene for what what, about what happened about that mm. so basically like Ari said there's like a huge grid on a board and everybody somebody picks up a card and the card has a color on it and you have to describe that color in one word and the word was plum and Ari was first because you're going clockwise yeah, so and Ari was like no worries guys I fucking got this one in the bag I, I, I so and confident reached so far in the wrong way yeah. that everybody got silent confused including noelle who it was her car like it was her description yeah. and so like you can tell if, if someone reading it gives you a reaction then they're like oh man <laughs> i was way off i was so confident i it, something about like that yeah. color you know when you look at a color on the board and it Oof. singles out and you're like, that's the color. You're all, <laughs> game, game. <laughs> I threw it down, almost an instant explosion of mockery and yeah. laughter. Even Noelle, who has a very good straight face, like yeah. she was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. gasped at me. <laughs> I was like, and I thought oh. about it and I was like, I don't, I don't think I know what a <laughs> color a plum is. And I immediately Googled it and I was... I was so far off. Yeah, I feel, like a, I feel like a light purple down, and I, yeah, I don't, you even, put I don't down, even know what I was thinking. Yeah, like, you put down like cotton candy purple. I think God, is okay, what you went okay. for. And yeah. it's funny too because like you have little pieces, so everybody gets to pick a little square. Uh-huh. So Ari's little piece is all the way on the <laughs> other side of the board, <laughs> yeah. and everybody else is like clumped together where a plum would be. Yeah, yeah. Surprised to know when I I got last place in that game. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of comeback at the end. It also it <laughs> happened a few times where it's like uh what Noel said like like candy apple and I was like, "Oh, Noel, I am reading you right now." And I uh, threw down like the reddest red and she was like, "No." <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I meant like and then everybody else was like like the lollipop, like caramel like, apple pop, like the green like lollipop. Green. But yeah. then some people still weren't convinced and it's yeah. all like you you can't Yeah. You have to make sure the word you choose doesn't have a divide in uh-huh. it. One thing too that I love about Noelle is she like she comes up with some homebrew rules that oh, really definitely. like yeah. oh yeah <laughs> it's so like she, like we were playing Telestrations yeah. and I was like forty five seconds she goes no, no no like all right and time she goes no no I'm no, not done yet I'm not done yet and I was like okay <laughs> and, then, gonna... and then we were like all right you have to describe it in one word Noelle's like mm, I'm gonna do two candy apple <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> okay um actually it's her house you rule. Dude. yeah <laughs> yeah dude, she's got the home corn advantage I'm not gonna Hell argue yeah. with that and I still got it wrong <laughs> I still just <laughs> beefed it dude she, um dude, dude, really I, passionate about games. I really like game nights it's uh we, yeah. we talked about it before but it's like the lack of screen time is mm-hmm. nice and you just kind of like very present yeah you get to like communicate communicate and see how people communicate mm-hmm. we got to meet chris noel's friend mm-hmm. and it was like oh it's like cool to like meet other people on yeah. the playing field you know? in the court in the in, in the, the fields of war yeah the fields yeah, of war yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. Hey, chris, Our dogs of war do you guys yeah. have a favorite board game it's growing i don't know it's uh i love the the cold case i don't even know if that's a board game necessarily but it is almost like an at-home escape room where yeah you you can only play it once, uh-huh. but it's like an incredibly detailed like FBI case, mm-hmm. and you like listen to audio files. You that's cool. You go to websites and it has like archived news reports, and you have to like Love skim that. through the Whoa. video, and you just get these like 
it's so fun to like kind of read and you have to connect the dots. Uh-huh. But it is all packaged up in like a board game kind of thing. Megan and I did one over like pandemic and it was like some of the most fun I had. It was just like, yeah. it, it was that thing in the movies where you're like, you have everything let out. You're like, what am I missing? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what is it? Like, there's a piece missing. Then Megan like hit a piece of paper and then I was like, wait a minute and i like turned the photo and i see the car in the background matches like uh-huh. the one in We've the done scene it. and it's like a blur i'm like no and i like looked it, it up couldn't and, be. and it like, like linked, coffee ring on the, yeah, on yeah, the photo it's yeah. like oh my god it all like linked up. up and it that's how we solved it it was crazy yeah, and it was cool. like we helped a, a fake imprisoned man out of jail <laughs> i yeah. felt so good about you it you fucking did that dude. yeah yeah you yeah he it. has you to thank for <laughs> yeah that. Uh-huh, he for might have lost 40 years of his life but not anymore you know, Enjoy the iPhone. Heroes man. like you. Yeah. Could you mm-hmm. imagine you keep getting like letters from this fake prisoner like your, like, your whole life? <laughs> it's like a game company. Fake, yeah, you're, the game you're, company, like yeah. that's part of the Christmas cards. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you guys, I, it's fine. But they have a bunch and I'd love to like crack one open with like a big group and like That'd be sick. I told you like turn off the lights but have one spotlight, put some rain on in the background and uh-huh. like what are we missing? Ooh, like, that's cool. Everybody come in their best like noir outfit. Dude. Megan and Ari know how to throw a, a murder mystery party too. It's one of it, one of our favorite things. Yeah, yes. I was like, didn't you guys do the one, the infamous slaying of the Grinch? Yeah, the Grinch miss. Who, yeah, yeah. We did. What was it? Werewolf? Uh, yeah. We some kicked it of off. Mafia it, we, werewolf, we had a yeah. bunch of people over. We didn't tell them that it was going to be a game night. Mm-mm. We assigned one of our friends as the killer. We mm-hmm. just that's all we told her. We're like, you're going to be the killer. Just keep that in mind. And I had just bought Hue light bulbs, like the Wi-Fi light bulbs, and I wanted to test them out. So then we like. In the middle of like, it's like us just hanging out in the living room. I cut the lights. Megan like drops a knife on the floor uh-huh. and like screaming ensues. And she goes and we have a Grinch cut out that Andrew so kindly made us. Yes. And <laughs> one of us, it. one of us grabbed it and just grabbed the knife and plunged it through the Grinch cut out. Oh. And I turned the lights on all red. And there's just a so Grinch cool. cut out with a knife me. jammed he, in he it. He stabbed yeah. me by accident. <laughs> and Andrew was like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Because I was wearing a Grinch onesie yeah. too. So can you imagine you stabbed yeah. me by accident? And I'm like, who killed Andrew? <laughs> there's blood all over me. <laughs> Come on, Not get sure. up, dude. I'm not going. Whoopie, <laughs> whatie, outie. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah, that, and then we had a little game of who, Whoville killed the, the Christmas. It's Carol. so sick. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Martha. Andrew, what's your favorite board game? Catan. Catan? You like Catan? I fucking Whoa. love Catan. I've Settlers never played it. I think it's, I, I, I Colton, just, you would love Catan. You know what it is? Because it's so simple. It like, really? Because I'm not, I'm really not somebody that really? likes playing. Okay. Like the board games that are like, you have to pick up this card and then this powers up this card and then you get your tokens and then oh, yeah. you have to eat the tokens and yeah. then so you would love and then three days love magic the yeah love it sounds munch. like a nightmare. I love token munch it's so good <laughs> token <laughs> munch <laughs> you eat them you only play it once I can't believe you like Catan I feel like that is a super like strategy game though yeah I was gonna I say like when it. I think Catan I don't think simple so that's yeah. wait wait what. Oh, oh! I thought you meant like of Catan? I thought you, of I thought Catan? it was a, uh, a dig at me. Like that sounds complicated for you, bud. I no, I, like, I, what no, I mean, dude. dude. Like no, like dude, you are so. We like, just thought you'd be more of like a Pictionary kind yeah. of guy. I love Pictionary. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I dig the dwarves. Yeah, see, that seems more right. Yeah, <laughs> Bosch <I>, cards. <laughs> it's just like I. To me, it's simple because the strategy comes. Because the game is so the, simple, like yes. because it's like the resources are simple. Correct. Oh, yes. cool. Your your objective, basically, it really is just to either create the longest road or have the. Now I'm fucking. I haven't played it forever, but like to have the most resources. I mm-hmm. think at the end. Yeah. yeah. But and, it's like yeah, other resources make other things. Yeah. So it's like it's all about yeah. how you like and collect, you have to combine, and you have to like strategize yes. like where you're. It just it's so simple. And that's what makes it so complicated yeah. to me. And yeah. I, I, you can't, like, it changes. They have, it. like, crazy expansions for it, too. Yeah. Like, themed I, stuff, too. I know yeah. a lot of people that, like, will have, like, yeah, like, Settlers of Catan Night. You know, yeah. it's almost like a they, D&D they can go level. Long, yeah. 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 I love it. They're Anytime fun. you want to play, the problem is it's not a two-player game. So, oh, I, I, it's, like, it's like three to five. Will stream Catan? That's, yes. Honestly, 
Kind of sounds top, sick. Get a top down yeah, camera. Yeah, top down mm-hmm. cam. Ooh, there you go. Man. And then we'll yeah. also have a bottom up camera. Yeah. So you can see your <laughs> face. You can see our face. Our legs <laughs> kicking and stuff. Dude, Looking you would just see the... my leg jumping, like bouncing yeah. the whole time. You see like Andrew's foot come to me and I like slap it. But then like, mm-hmm. then I like give in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking it was a glass table. So you just see like our double chins. Like, <laughs> That's hilarious. None of, our, not, none of us are wearing pants for some reason. Yeah. Uh, mm. Do you have a favorite, Colton? The one games that my family played that I really liked were were the word ones. So like Boggle mm. and Bananagrams is... Dude, Bananagrams grew on me hard. D- I explain really Bananagrams to me. I don't dude, think I've played bananagrams it Bananagrams is like you, you spill out a banana pouch full of... What? It's literally... <laughs> Yeah, it's, a banana I, I will, hammock. I will, I will say, I play this game. It's an odd way to but how to correct. first describe how to play it because yeah. you'll be like, it really has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with the banana. Oh, oh. Uh, so there's a there's a banana sack. I thought it was like collect the most bananas with, or something. It's filled with a bunch of little letters, and then mm, you pour them tiles. out, and then you divide the letters up by. Is it not? Is that how many people are playing? Is that not just Scrabble? It's literally Scrabble, but each person is making their own Scrabble, like oh, with the letters that so they then have. You show that, and then at the end, like the timer runs out, and at the end, you rack up points based on how many words and how big. It, it does seem like a less annoying Scrabble where people yeah. like, will fact check every single mm-hmm. like letter you yeah. throw down. Yeah, you still get some fact checking at the end mm-hmm. because, like, with your grid yeah, that you make, okay. you'll be like, well. You spell wiener Come on, with I can... three E's. Yeah, it's, it's, it's German. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You so, do get that a little bit, but no, no. Precocious is a word. I swear. <laughs> precocious. Precocious. You're acting real precocious right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you. Oh, that sounds fun. I want to play that. That sounds good. I think it's cool because like there's a timer, and so like yeah, people, yeah, yeah. it goes by quick, mm-hmm. and it's just like you just. It seems like the moving. fun would be in the like fake words. You, you're just like, no, yeah. it's blunklock. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absatrompley, dude. That's totally <laughs> a word. <laughs> but then I recently, there's another, I I, re, I don't know if we've talked about it on the pod, but I fell into the, last year I fell into the Magic the Gathering mm-hmm. like community no, thing. You've definitely brought it up a few times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we play Commander, <laughs> but there's a sick version of it that is basically Mafia or Werewolf mm-hmm. where- what? Yeah, Wait, so there's a, there's a version where you can play with people and you have your like army of cards, you know, because the way we uh-huh. play it's commander. So you have a commander and a hundred cards that like of course. are themed around that commander. Of course. And so, but you can get it, you can assign roles to everyone at the table. So you can be like, all right, I'm the king and the king's duty is to like find the, um, I think the king's duty is just to survive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but everyone knows that you're the king, right? So then there's at the table, there's a knight, which is their job is to protect the king. Okay. And then there's bandits, which I think are like their job is to like kill the king or so, or like assassins. And then there's like one person whose job is to be the last one standing uh, without being like revealed or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and so based on how people play, you figure out who's assigned each role. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like if you're the knight, you're like anytime someone attacks the king, you're like, hey, I'm actually I'm going to attack you over there Whoa. but you, yeah and so then it's it's cool because it like like you find out who the bandit is pretty quick like i'm gonna use this card and i i, I guess attack the king i yeah. guess i'll kill <laughs> I the guess king I'll and kiss end the, the game but yeah. it's kind of interesting. but i'm not maybe i'm i'm not a bandit though i'm just i'm just a lowly surf but i'm gonna kill you <laughs> that's kind of what happens though because like when i played i was playing with a mitt so shout out to a mitt i was the knight and i knew i was the knight. so like i knew i was the knight but then a mitt was like all right, well, I'm just going to come clean. Like, I'm the knight. So, like, uh, after a few dude, rounds, he's like, Mitt, I'm the knight. Like, Mitt's one of the sneakiest, dude, most competitive, like, card game players I've ever played with. He was with. so good because then it set me up to be the liar where I'm like, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no, yeah. no, wait, no. Yeah. It's really weird of Colton to <laughs> and jump then, like, on the knight like that. And then, like, both Mitt and I were trying to, like, attack yeah. people yeah. that would attack Lester who I know, is the king. I know a mitt like goes for the throat. Like dude, I know that a mitt great, like gets dude. personal. Like if you play great Mafia player. he's just like well you know at least my family didn't abandon me. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Dude I played, I played Coup with a mitt and our friend Shin Yeah, and those two are probably the most cutthroat I've ever like seen. Dude, Shin is very competitive. Where, Shout where, out to Shin. You know a mitt was getting really heated and he was like it's fucking Shin and this is at Guildhall a public uh-huh. space mm-hmm. and he's yeah. like pointing at her and like screaming at her <laughs> and she's like like puppy dog and like oh, no it's not me it's not me <laughs> yeah. and she was like almost like tearing up and people were like Amit stop it like Man, what are you doing control. and at the end she was like I take the ship it's mine and, <laughs> yeah. and he was like I fucking told you and he got like 
for real mad at that <laughs> and I, like this is my first time playing games with these people and yeah. i was like oh no <laughs> i don't like the mind no, games like this. This the bad. psychological warfare is not they were just playing with twister too that yeah. was the crazy <laughs> thing <laughs> yeah. was- your right arm wasn't on fucking red <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <laughs> we're playing pokemon monopoly i don't know <laughs> um well on yeah. that case on that case on that case on that case that's not a well on, on that, that case, case we're gonna, we're gonna take, take a, a break. break. <laughs> Woo! I play my break card right now. <laughs> no! My break card. Fuck you! You can't play your break card without actually seven break tokens. This is bullshit. This is bullshit, dude. On the way to the gym, there was this car that was in oh, front of me. Car? It was an anime car, dude. Yeah. It said, "It said I like girls that like girls," and then it had like mm. all the Splatoon characters, oh. which is really weird because <laughs> it's like, very specific. And also, they're called like Squid Kids. Yeah, they're so, young. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wasn't was not, uh, not vibing with that mm. anime car. That that waifu car was a little. Maybe those cars should get ticketed and not people just trying to park. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The waifu, the, yeah, the waifu mobiles. The waifu. Yeah, yeah. The waifu tickets? There was one waifu car. I think I have a picture. I'll try to find it. It's heinous. Like, it is straight nudity. Like, just honking yes, out. And I know it's, exactly it's, what It was over about. by work. Yeah. And it was on Halloween that I drove by it. And the window was shattered. Someone had, <gasps> like, destroyed Someone had it. enough. Had enough. <laughs> enough! They had enough of those tickle bitties. And I haven't seen the car there since. I think they broke oh. them. They broke them. Wasn't there duct tape like over there the parts of oh, the yeah. nudity? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I was also just picturing like just I don't know, it's like a nice. like a minivan with with boobies on the, on the like <laughs> front thing, just like <laughs> <laughs> it's the new it's the new like truck nuts. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> bumper boobs, it, bumper, bumper boobs. boobs. Whoa, yo. So I have a quick shout out. I'll go. So my my friend Katie, listener mm-hmm. of the pod, hello Katie, longtime friends, Katie, Katie. She hey, did yeah. send us wanted an update. From Andrew on the Kingdom Hearts journey. And the fans have been clamoring. You're, Ari, make, you're making up people. I now. know, I know to no, you. Katie's like chagrin. one of my best friends. My, my best friend Jebediah. My um, best friend uh Anthem Seeker of Darkness. Miss Kyrie Lexi one oh one. All right, yeah, it's, 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 been been a, one, it's been a few episodes. You guys can been, have our have fun. You, where are you at in your so, game? Hold on. Before that. <sighs> oh my god, he can't sit still, dude. Fucking gonna he's, pass he's out gonna... something i thought was very funny she sent me a picture she goes just found these a couple weeks ago oh yeah clem will they throw these are burnt we'll throw it up clem they are burn cds that i made her probably back in like 2012 that oh, were cool. like kingdom oh, this, hearts yeah, like yeah. youtube to mp3 lore like burnt onto a cd <laughs> so the first one says kingdom hearts timeline 53 minutes and 20 seconds <laughs> the other one says kingdom hearts mysteries why is Sora special xehanort's <laughs> ambitions and then like the foreteller's prophecies <laughs> that one is just colton being like so well, Sora's super so special to me it's yeah. a really bad like video of me like on the phone yeah. <laughs> like, why okay. did you burn them to cd dude i don't even know man that was the time oh my god <laughs> sorry dude what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck's your problem. Come on, man. A, a CDs part of the Kingdom Hearts lore now? It's a, CDs are much. the most important part what? of the Kingdom yeah, Hearts lore. Well, you see, you can't access the data scape Just without a CD. Just talk about your fucking okay, game, so Andrew. So, major props to Andrew because, as much of the fans know, Andrew has started a journey last year to complete all of the Kingdom Hearts. And Andrew, you did it. My journey is done. Woo! You did it really fast. You did it I'm so fast. Caught up. I'm Bro, caught up. I finished Kingdom Hearts you know what? three. I yeah. watched. I watched Damo's six hour <laughs> playthrough fan, fan dub of the mobile games, which is the most important part of the lore. Oh, Apparently, yeah. <laughs> so dumb. It's awful. Why don't you shut the fuck up for a minute? <laughs> All right, I let you talk the whole episode. I'm going on and on and on about whatever what did <laughs> wait wait hold listening. on let's do this andrew what games did ari bring up the last couple episodes oh my god he wouldn't shut the fuck up about pow world okay okay, okay. that's one that's what, what was the other one that he talked about <laughs> andrew oh, great andrew let's that's so nice Andrew, remember we gave ari his segment yeah i talked about this he game talked about this game I'm very passionate about in length that he's very passionate about that he beat remember a very fun game it's an indie game he's trying to like lean over the mic to colton <laughs> so you like get an answer, <laughs> he's, to get an answer. he's like squinting i'm totally setting him up he, he doesn't fucking he doesn't listen remember. dude he doesn't listen andrew what was the game what was the that game? we gave ari the segment for and you guys fuck you guys you, talking you about? guys you guys were both 
you guys were you guys were so sweet and you're like all right we take up so much of your time with kingdom hearts i'm gonna let you talk about your game and you don't even remember power world I was in power world buddy what come game? on come on you're almost there you know you space space exploration i'm outside he's outside in the wild in the, in the oh wild. that expedition oh my god <laughs> Everest. <laughs> so he's all, he's all. Oh, that out in the wild oh, uh, space. That fucking ex- kitty thing he was doing. <laughs> I don't know the name of the game. I know what you're talking about. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Shut up. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, dude. Okay, I think this is tearing us apart. Mad. But Sorry. every time I bring up, I'm not a gamer. To someone about not a fucking, <laughs> not a fucking <laughs> gamer, dude. I just ran through Kingdom Hearts in like two yeah. weeks. Well, that's anyway. what's insane. Is I'll bring it up to people. And I'll be like, Yo. Andrew started a journey and he's fucking finished. Like he caught up. He played seven games and watched all of the cutscenes and like supplementary yeah. material. And they're like, "Wait, how? How did he do it that fast? Uh, what? What's the timeline? <laughs> yeah, for each game, if you give can us the timeline. roughly do break it. us down. Uh, so Kingdom Hearts One took twenty four hours to beat. Kingdom Hearts so uh, Chain of Memory was roughly the same. Roughly every game took about twenty four hours. Birth by Sleep took. 30 hours because that was 10 hours each character. Okay. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 actually took the least amount of time, I think. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, you can burn what, through. You burn through What quick. about like length wise in terms of like how many weeks did you spend on each? Yeah. Probably a week and a half. Whoa. If that. How many? Dude, you have, you have a full time job. How did yeah, you do and that? I, <laughs> and a edit, partner. And he edit edits the, the pod. And he Some edits of the, the, pod. the Let's Plays and the. Yeah, That's dude. why we get messages from him at like three in the morning uh-huh. and he's just like funny instagram reel <laughs> we get messages we get messages from noelle being like this is what you Stop. do to him and it's like a slight it's like a photo like of her like, kind of behind the crack of the yeah, door yeah, yeah. like looking at him in the office <laughs> yeah. does she send you those yeah. what what no he has no. like the cat eyes like just, the reflective oh, lenses bit. in his eyes <laughs> yeah but anyway I, I, I won't take up too much time but yes i did finish i'd finished kingdom hearts 3 i'm all caught up and now i'm, I'm rereading the manga of course too oh, that's right he really bought, dude he bought all, bought the, manga. all the manga <laughs> Dude, what the I bought fuck? all the manga because I don't want to miss anything because I feel like three five eight over two days, what? the cutscenes wasn't enough, and I'm not gonna yeah. go back and play the game. Yeah, that game's not. Fun. So I feel like it's it's much better. But yeah, now I'm I'm all caught up, and now I'm you know waiting for Quadratum and what? Kingdom Hearts. What is 4. that? Ooh, oh. all right, all right. I'm okay. glad so you glad you asked. I know so I actually, ask. there are multiple. So there are worlds that you know, right? Like the Disney yeah. worlds. I guess. What if I told you Pirates world? that world, of course, is made of light, dark, and the realm in between, right? Yeah, of course. What if I told you of that course, there Andy. was oh. another reality? Maybe an unreality. Perhaps an unreality <laughs> that <laughs> Ansem the Wise and Yen Sid knew about. He knew of a couple of people that were able to go to unreality. And what if I told you that Riku and Kairi went to the final world with the fairy godmother from <laughs> yep this is true this is true Kyrie. shut up dude this so is so in... stupid hey, shut up hey. shut the fuck up <laughs> you can't just add layers to it and be like shut what if everything up. was un and that's okay but that's you exactly what you that. sign up for when you become a kingdom hearts fan is you'll be like okay i think i, I oh by the end of this game i'm on it i'm so, on the trail so the fairy so just... the fairy godmother is basically uh taking these two people into what in this world is Heaven? I would argue it's heaven. Yeah, heaven. It's like the final world. The final world called. before oh, you. I'm sure before it's the you... final world. Shut up. Yeah. No. You know what? Ari, you're right. It's not because there's no, so it, much more to explore. It's never gonna be the final <laughs> world. They're gonna be like, we did it, guys. We reached the the end of the kingdom of hearts or something, and then yep. then well, one of them's gonna be, be like, be absolutely like impossible. Dad! <laughs> It'll be like, he's got a lock blade instead of a fucking key blade. Oh, fuck. Oh, ch- the chain of memories. What about the unchain of memories? <laughs> okay, well, there actually is. There's, uh, there is Kingdom uh, Hearts I'm Unchained going. Union Cross. Chain. So, come on. <laughs> wow. So, anyway, so the fairy godmother from Cinderella. Hold on, wait. Don't worry, Andrew. I'll uh, summon my key blade and just chain him back real quick. <laughs> there you go. All right. Oh my God. Well, you brought him you'll back. Learn from, one oh my day. God! <laughs> brought him back from the you final world. Just teleport me. Yeah. Welcome to Quadratum. Oh. Welcome. Uh, no. So Andrew. Yeah. What's your? Because this is the controversial take on it. Is uh, a lot of people were hot and bothered about Kingdom Hearts three in a bad way. I fucking loved it. You loved it. I love it because I didn't have to wait fourteen years between Kingdom yeah. Hearts two and Kingdom Hearts three. So I just burned through 
it all. No, no, and actually, ki- that's actually ki- got to be Kingdom Hearts three thing, has yeah. no more bullshit than any other game. There is, I mean, people don't like Dream Drop Distance. I don't like Dream Drop. Yeah, Dream Distance. Drop has a lot it, of bullshit. I think it sucks. Um, <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't have more bullshit than other games? Like, like they introduce bull, like in Dream Drop Distance, right? Young Xehanort comes back in time. Or no, actually, he moves forward in time to talk to the the, Sora the and Riku. Creeps I know. In. He talks to Sora and Riku in the dream world. The sleeping because, world. I'm sorry, the dream world. Oh, my God, I'm a fucking idiot. The sleeping <laughs> world. Because no, Master Yen Sid told Sora and Riku if they wanted to get their mark of mastery and become Keyblade Masters, that they would have to close the sleeping <laughs> keyholes. <laughs> seven keep, sleeping keyholes, because seven is the number. Things. Anyway, so... <laughs> so the Xehanorts have have either gone back in time or forward in time to meet Sora and Riku to tell them that their plan really them. was to create the real Organization 13, which is made up yep. of 13 Xehanorts all at different yeah. times. You just keep adding new words. Like, you never say the same word twice. You're like, oh, Are you, you, go to the, you go to the, the quantum realm of... <laughs> Just like wait, what Ari happens? asked this very simple, genuine question, and it leads to yeah, like seven well, more be- different roads. Yeah, which is true. Which is true. That's what it's like being a fan. So I don't even know where. Okay, miserable. so anyway, so Dream Drop. Yeah, there's that bullshit. They introduced time travel and the fa- and like time mechanics, and and then in three, I don't know. I feel like they they make it all come together. I have no problem with three. Yeah. I think three, oh, the Disney worlds uh, don't mean like anything, that. but the Disney worlds never meant anything except yeah. for one. So you're, it's all bullshit and conjecture and anybody that's upset about it, fucking replay it. It's fine. And then- I tell you. Yeah. Well, it's not to you <laughs> specifically, but, and then, <laughs> and then I also, <laughs> and then I finished the Remind DLC. So you complete Kingdom Hearts three and then you go back in time. Well, you actually, you don't really go back in time. Yes. What happens is, uh, Xehanort, <laughs> he he basically kills Kyrie, but he splits <laughs> he splits her heart into seven pieces. Fucking slaughters a so child. What happens is what happened? Sora goes back to the final world, talks to Chirithi, and he <sighs> goes Chirithi. he goes and <laughs> saves his friend's seven hearts. And by doing that, hold on, hold on. Clem, keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And so, <laughs> Jesus. And so Let's by doing that, talking about it. So by doing that and by saving his friend's seven hearts, they were able to go back in time, thus creating a Why? time snafu. But they didn't really go well, back I love in time. Use the word snafu they because just, that's what it is. Yeah, it it's a time snafu. It. No reason. Oh no, it's. No, she calls it a time. What does Cherithy call it? Fuck's a time taboo. taboo. I'm sorry. Time taboo. Fucking idiot. No. So a time oh, taboo. You're doing pretty good. A time taboo. So actually, Sora's not going back in time. He's bringing their hearts back to the time that their bodies were last present, which was at the time rift. So they didn't really <laughs> go back in time. They're just reliving the events from Kingdom Hearts three. What? And so, okay, so here's the other thing about time. Sora cannot occupy two places at the same time. So he's, in theory, bouncing from heart to heart, thus... What does that mean, though, bouncing from heart to heart? You're just saying things. He's leaving his body, and he's entering his other friend's hearts. Why can't he just do that now? Because... Wasn't he like a kid on an island? Yeah, yeah. But he always had the heart of Ventus inside of him. So what is Ventus? You keep just saying things. You just keep saying words. Uh, Ventus has been in his heart since birth by sleep, <laughs> which was the fuck ten does years. What that mean? <laughs> okay, so Ventus. <laughs> oh my god. Well, in order to protect he's Ventus's like, heart, like, Aqua, he's, he's Aqua say, has he's, to I don't save, know what game he's talking you know about what? now. Birth by sleep. <laughs> Gonna, you should you're just clap. saying things hey, now. Hey fam, I'm gonna I'm gonna come in as the ref here. Um as someone who truly loves this, but also maybe it, we are maybe you are saying a lot. <laughs> so it's been fifteen minutes. I've I've recorded 
We'll I don't know what you. I don't know what you want me to do about it because you just get me going. I'm just saying. You ask what more bullshit. I'm telling you. There's fucking time travel. I guess I could have just said that. There's time travel. <laughs> there's time travel in in Dream Drop Distance, which becomes imperative to understanding the story of three because there's the real organization. But actually, what happens is what not a, all thirteen members come a, back because some of the organization members, such as <laughs> Vexen and Demix, they're actually playing double agent, and then Zexian comes back yeah but he's now working for ansem the wise which also came back also came back from the, the end of kingdom hearts 2 the end of kingdom hearts 2 he's been in there and then he met aqua and then because he's <laughs> been he knows the dark not the dark he's realm saving. what is the he fucking, doesn't know the dark realm the dark, the so, the dark realm. so because he's been in the dark realm he's able to traverse the between the dark realm and the light realm so he's able to kind of go back and forth but <laughs> xemnas takes him back but he manages to escape because a uh, traitor. Because Hainer punches Zemnis. <laughs> yeah. Hainer. Hainer Pence and Olette. What is this? He punches. No, he kicks. No, he drop kicks, uh, drop kicks Xehanort, Xehanort. And he does not do well. But I mean, it's pretty brave. He doesn't. Hainer doesn't have any powers. So let me just ask this. It's cool, man. Uh, Thank you. Andrew, what is your takeaway now that you've completed all of it? <laughs> what is your. What is your takeaway of like Fuck you? No, hold on. No, dude. I just want to ask get him. To it, no, you don't ask him. You know, Katie, that's all you get. You no, get 15 minutes of no, Andrew doing Katie. that. That's all There's you get. Multiple you parts to Katie. More than than just Katie. You got Eddie wants more to know. Than you got Travis more than wants to know. Anyone's been given on this podcast. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone wants to know, dude. I'm sorry. Everyone wants to know. I'm well, you sorry, got dude. it. Jules you wants to know. Just if you can summarize, what is like your elements that you love the most about it? Now that you've gone the whole distance, I love that it i just love you get one sentence how okay so in right, the, go. Nope. In the <laughs> nope one very you long run, one, one very I long run love, on sentence I, I love what i love that in the beginning no <laughs> no i love one, one i just phrase. i love the bullshit i really do okay, i really i love I love, I love the bullshit Good. i love trying end, to figure end it of, out end of i love well, trying to ref like, here i'm gonna let him what you just called I think it it's okay i you. love trying to like i just love how much the lengths that people go to to make it all work i can't and imagine like i yeah. ask colton like questions that i should have been asking from the beginning like <laughs> like how does roxas exist concurrently with sora when we've learned from from master Yensid that in order for a body to come you need to do <laughs> <laughs> I do love Ari's put put his forehead on the mic. He's done. Anyway, He's I love I love the bullshit. Also, I'm listening to this Great. this amazing <laughs> podcast that just came out that is now talking about the deep lore of it. Yeah, I love it. It's great, love it, man. It just came out. I you should listen to What's it. What's it called? Searching Starlight or Star? Yep, I know the one. Fucking Are you listen serious? to it. I'm not plugging other podcasts, but listen we have to it. To. It's fucking great. <laughs> Look up the secret reports. How much could there possibly be? They're great. Well, in the first one, they just talk about worlds, and in the secret Ansem reports that you collect in Kingdom Hearts 1, okay, well, actually... Okay, 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 okay. The okay. Ansem you should, you reports. Really are, all, you know what? I'll... You need to learn to stop asking. I guess I'll... I'll <laughs> but really, the secret no, yeah, Ansem Andrew, reports I'm happy are... Andrew, i for you. That's Ansem so good for you. are really Xehanort, because yeah. only Ansem Report 0 is Ansem the Wise. Ansem the Wise, that's true. And the rest are actually Xehanort. It's secret of Darkness. Ansem, Secret of Darkness. All right, well, I think we should wrap up the episode. No, well, no, now was, no, that was the question. No, no, of the no week. I'm, I'm being dead serious. It's 45 minutes. We're no, going to wrap got, up the we No, no, then. we're not doing questions. We're not doing you questions. You want to do a headline? <gasps> no, oh, we're not doing anything. Oh, Andrew. We're oh, not. Oh, my no. God. It's it's Ari's headline havoc. No, Ari. I don't have a headline havoc. We're done. Kelcho, <laughs> play Ari's. I don't have it. a headline havoc. Stop. Stop. We're done. Andrew, where can they find us? Dude. Andrew, where can they find us? Say it. Are you done? We're done. We're 46 minutes in. Well, you we spent, go, you spent go another five. You spent 20 minutes talking about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I'd like to For say... For part two. I, I don't think, I'd you, need, like I don't to think say, you need to apologize. I'd like to say that that's not my fault. I don't care if it is. I'm not deflecting, done. but I'm saying I don't think that that's my fault. There's no fault. question yeah. of the week. I'm avoiding eye contact. Hey, hey I don't new wanna, subscribers. I don't want to look at them. Thanks. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's what you get. That's what this is. That's what this is. All right. Well, Ari, let's. Hey, it's my episode, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap oh, it up. Oh, really? Because you really have had no control well, over this episode. Well, actually, he was refing the previous segment about <laughs> barely. Um, I'll step in. I'll, uh, don't worry. I'll step in and step don't up. Worry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Before this gets I'm out of the hand, dad. hey, I'm the dad that stepped up. 
Um, okay, so <laughs> are you referencing the the T shirt that's like I'm not a stepdad, I'm, I'm the, the dad, dad that, that stepped, stepped up. up. Yeah, that's, that's why he's referencing. got those four kids in his in his room. <laughs> My best friends call me dad. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, shout out to everyone that followed. Recently, we had a huge surge of like people that subscribed, and um, we're really excited about it. And we want to make sure everyone's happy. So obviously, you know, we gotta. <laughs> We got to address the Kingdom Hearts elephant in the room. Uh, so we did knock that out of the way. Um, we hope you enjoyed. And, and we will not talk about it. Oh, on, the, ne- on the next episode. Or, yeah, at least, at least the next one. episode. Well, I mean, we'll wait till Kingdom Hearts Missing Link comes out. Okay. If you've stuck around to this point. Yeah. And you're still subscribed. Thank you. That's um, deep. That's a lot of merit. That's a lot of yeah. uh, perseverance, I would say. Yeah. You got that dog in you. Yes. To make maybe it you through. loved it. Maybe you loved it. Maybe, maybe you for a lot of people, that's their favorite part of the episode. It. Maybe we're maybe gonna go back like under Evie. Like that's their favorite part. That's you know true. What? Hey, we did Evie, get thanks mail. for reaching out and emailing us. That's sweet. Did we talk about that last? Yeah, time? yeah, yeah we did. Okay, that. well, thanks yeah. for sticking around again. Yeah. So please, yeah, engage with us. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. We'll add it to the pod, and uh, yeah, we're we're having fun, and we're trying to cook up some new stuff. So much fun. We're having so yeah, much fun. Ari's so having fun. Ari's having the most fun. I think That's of so everyone. Fun. You know what's so cool? What? I got I got like five minutes to talk about my game, and Andrew talked for twenty minutes about Kingdom Hearts. Not well, my fault. So, and he didn't even remember my game. That's, <laughs> that's not my fault. That's I'm not. Not a That's gamer. Oh, I'm not a gamer. I don't Here's twenty minutes of Kingdom Hearts. I just beat Kingdom Hearts the entire thing in five weeks. That's great. I'm not a gamer though. Andrew, where can they find us? I'm- you can find us at Couch Kick Podcast <laughs> on Instagram uh, and TikTok. Primarily, if you want updates, uh, yes. please look at our Instagram. We update that uh, constantly with behind the scenes, mm-hmm. a couple exclusive videos. Yeah. Yeah, I would and say then, we're most active on Instagram probably. Yeah, I would say so too. Yeah. And then, uh, like I said, TikTok at Couch Kids Podcast. If you have any questions uh, of the yeah. day, you want to reach out, send us a mail. Hate mail? Hate yeah. mail? Yes. Whatever you please, want. the trend is growing. The hate yes. mail is growing. Yeah, we're uh, into sincerely, it. Sincerely, thank you for getting us over a thousand subscribers. That was an end of the year goal. I yeah, wanted. and we, yeah. the fact that we hit it in the first month is crazy. Wild. Yeah, but yeah, we're gonna put out some good stuff for you guys to yeah. keep you around. Couchcasepodcast at gmail dot com. That yes. was the that Woo-hoo. was the year. awesome. And, uh, that with that, thanks, Clem, for editing. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you, Katie, for that question of the day. What thank a you, wonderful Katie. Yeah. question. All right, did, Ari, did you want to answer that? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Colton. All right. <laughs> What? <laughs> Question of the week. Oh, just, just Bye. Bye. It is on you. It's not because on me? Yeah, have because some self-control. I have no self-control. You know that about me. That so it's you know my what? The, fault you have no self-control. Okay, well then then blame Colton because what? you should have stopped me. I was the well, I wanted to <laughs> let <laughs> I <laughs> I just I was trying to let the fans indulge, you know? Jeez. Sorry for trying to make a good show. Well, where do we go from here, guys? I'm done. With the bod? I think I'm done. Ari, come on. Well, we're done talking about it. Yeah, dude. No, we... No, we he played it all the way. Are gonna go by and and Colton's going to be like, wait, before we get down again. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Andrew, I think the, the listeners want to know how the journey on the podcast. No, but I, we and already caught him up for forty minutes next time, okay. and I'm gonna be like, I don't think this makes sense. And, Are... and then it's been, oh, shit, fuck up, shit, shit, fuck up. Well, <laughs> if it, if nothing makes sense, I'll explain it to you. <laughs> like I, he did if... so well this time. Yeah. He was doing so good. Ari, I get flustered because there's so many things. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>